MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. David, we're back to see a 3D tool setting probe. What is it and what does it do? Yeah, it's um, a mechanical tool setting probe, which we call TC5420. Um, the idea is that you can measure, uh, set your, your tool lengths and radius on the machine, in the, pro in, in the machine process, uh, and that's automatically uploaded to the tool offset files ready to, to start to use within the, uh, the cutting program. How does it do that? You physically touch on, on the probe itself with the cutting tool. When the probe is deflected, it sends a signal wirelessly through an infrared link to the CNC control, and we capture the axis positions and do all the calculations within the software for calculating the tool length or the tool radius. So we're checking A, the tool's present and not broken. You say radius, you mean radius of the cutting tool? Yes, yes, that's right, yeah. We can use it for full setup of the tool, so length and radius of the tool. We can use it for checking wear to make sure that the, the tool is within a, a wear limit or that the tool isn't broken, that it is in fact still good to cut. So I can inspect a radius on a end mill. Can I do it on an indexable product? Yes, yeah, you can, it's the, the software is programmed to allow uh, various uh, different types of cutting tools. Um, so it, yeah, it's fairly flexible in the machine area. So pretty much everything I could do on an external presetter? Yes, yeah, the, the advantage you have of course is that with a presetter, um, you can accurately set the tool data, but then you need to somehow get it into the machine, either through a, a, a network system or the good old fashioned operator programming it in by hand. So you, you're adding the, the potential of human error into it. By doing it on the machine in a tool that's automatically going to update the tool offset files, then you eliminate any potential misprogramming of tools. So you think an engineer is better off in inspecting the cutting tools on the machine tool rather than externally? Yes, yes, definitely, because we're actually getting the tool sitting in the spindle, so under clamped conditions, we're not seeing it in a, a stationary, unclamped state uh, on a preset rig somewhere. We're actually seeing what we're about to cut with actually on the machine. Okay, so essentially we're removing variables, human error, spindle error? Yes, exactly, that's exactly it. So we're getting a true accurate picture of what we're about to cut with. If we measure my end mill and we find an error in the size, what happens? Yeah, the, the software is quite flexible. So um, if you see that it's just outside the wear limits, um, then it depends on what the customer wants to, to happen in that event. It can either just flag to the operator that there's a problem but continue the process, or it can physically stop and someone has to intervene and, and do something. So we can set it really flexible to what the customer's requirement is. Okay, so if this is part of an automation cell, we don't use production, do we? If the, cut it, if the cutting tool goes 0.01, oversize, undersize rather, we can adjust it. Yeah, exactly. So as soon as, the t as soon as you specify what is an acceptable wear limit, as soon as it sees that it's exceeded that wear limit, then it will either stop the process, flag an alarm to the operator. If the control supports it, then you can indeed use sister tooling. So you can use them, bring in a sister tool and continue the automatic uh, manufacturing process. So where are you currently selling this product? Well, we, we, we do sell it across the board, really. We go into aerospace automotive, but this, this um, TC5420 is an ideal product, really, for the, the SME market, that, you know, the, the, the contractor work, particularly that we can couple it with the TC50 workpiece inspection probe. So we can have, you can have tool setting and workpiece inspection all running within the, the machine off one receiver unit. You mentioned the SME market. Does that mean it's cost effective? It's a really um, low cost, sort of cost effective solution for that type of market really, especially when you consider that we can do it as a package because you only need one receiver unit, it'll communicate with both spindle probes and tool setting probes, so we can do some nice keen pricing on, uh, you know, as a package price really.